Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we got the Stuntman's 2016 Camaro SS, and guess who's back? Baker. <laughs> Stuntman's back. <laughs> anyway, today we're going to install a BMR cradle, rear cradle lockout kit from BMR. Okay guys, so we got to start to start with we support the differential so it doesn't fall fall forward too much we got to remove this bolt on this arm right here and move this bolt on both sides and then once they're removed we can use the jack to lower the front down so that we can get access to these bushings i don't know if i can get it on camera or not we got to get access to this bushing right here on top and then the bottom is it the same oh, yeah, yeah, that one, yeah, that's got to come out, yeah. So you also got to remove this one, I missed this one here. Yeah, yeah, because we got to take that whole arm off. Okay, so so three bolts to remove this here. Oh, Jesus. I guess there's a little torque on the side of her here we're going to remove too. Is it torque, you said? Yeah. A little small one. Hey, guys. We got the cradle drop down. So the first thing you got to do is put in this little brass washer here. It just slides right in. Uh, get the camera here. This one won't seem to be sliding in as easy as the other side. Need more room? No, it's my fingers. Are there. Okay, it just slid in. And then this, this piece here goes into the top. And you join them, you'll haul her down a little bit, and then it should drop right in. There, it should drop right in. And okay, now we're gonna do the bottom pieces. Okay, these are the bottom pieces. Now this bottom piece has got some uh I don't know what you would call them, but they only go in one way, as far as I know. So it goes up in here. It must, that looks like that's the way. Because it'll turn when you do this, but when it drops in, then it won't turn no more. So we hold that in. And then we put this on the bottom. And then we got to put that arm back up in. Get the bolt started. In it. You got a bolt in it. So you should start the bolt in the front. So anyway, I'm going to put the camera down, but you get the idea, this is going to go up in, and then with the, the bolts, uh, you put the bolts in, just snug them up, you don't need them super tight, because we've got to, still got to drop the back. Okay, guys, we got the bottom ones all in, we're just going to snug these up, we're not going to torque them until after we get the back part done, but we want them tight enough that uh, the cradle doesn't fall fall out on us. Okay, so the front's done, now we're going to do the back. Okay guys, so now we're on to the back ones. you got to remove two 15 millimeter. Uh, this 15 millimeter here, and then this one, and then underneath that there's a, what's the other one, 18? Yeah. Then there's an 18 you got to remove on the other side. And we got it supported on the cradle right here with, by the jack so it doesn't fall down on us. Ready? Yep. Yeah. It won't come out.
this here just drops down out. I'll try not to drop it on the stunt man's head. Okay, and then this last one's an 18. Just take it out slow, just see how far it drops. Didn't drop too far. Slip down just a little bit. Okay, that's probably good. Okay, so the top is one of these pieces. And it, it only slide in one way. So you just put it in and just slide it till it drops in. Get up there. Now, see if you can turn it. I don't know if it's. I'd say you had her lined up. I'm going to turn her the other way. Yeah. Feel it go down in, turn it one way so it don't. Then I know for sure. There, yeah, you had her going right up first time. How was it? You got it with here. Okay, like I say, it just goes in the top, and you have to just fiddle with it till it drops in. It'll stick up just a tiny bit because there's rubber that is holding it up. Yes, she's still recording. Okay, so now we're just going to jack her back up some. Okay, that's good. That's good for now. Okay, so these little pins here, they got to go in the bottom and you put a little grease on them to help hold them up in. So is there locations? Does it certain locate? Okay, yeah, there's each, only each. slots that are going. Okay, one in each corner is where it's gonna go. The first one goes in easy because it's you get lots of slot. This just goes to show how much slop is built into these rear ends. That's quite a bit. There's more than that, man. Two slid right in. The other two is gonna have a little persuasion. Okay, the stunt man's bringing out the big guns here now. And now this little piece goes in here. Yeah, just like that, yeah. You see the rubber. This here goes around them rubber pieces there. Mm -hmm. the other side. Okay, guys, now we got all the bushings in. She's time to torque the bolts down. So apparently these ones here we torque to 74 foot-pounds. And then, how many degrees? 90. So 74 foot-pounds and then 97 degrees. Yeah. 
Okay, so there's 74 foot pounds. Okay, so he's gonna mark a uh, mark on the bolt and on the metal. And we want to go 100. And, what'd you say? 110. 90 to 105. 90, 90 degrees. 90, so it'd be 90 to 105 degrees. So we'll let Stuntman figure that one out. <laughs> Just. Yes, now something's going to mark it for 90 degrees or so. That's how far you get a turner. Okay, that looks like you got her done. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay, a little bit more. Yeah. I straight on the money for 90. Should I go with past it? Oh, uh, you could. I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't go no further. She got enough on her. She, she ain't gonna go nowhere. Okay, now we're going to torque these ones to 74 foot, foot pounds and then uh, a little over 90 degrees, same as the back. And then these ones up here, I, they, we just tighten them up. I don't know if there's a torque for them or not, but they definitely not uh, as tight as this one here. Right? Yeah. Right 50. 50. Oh, 50 degrees on this one? No, 50 foot pounds. Oh, on the front ones. 50 foot pounds. Yes, 50 foot pounds on these two front ones here. This one here is 74. 74 and uh, 97 degrees. Perfect. Okay, so just do that on both sides, and then, like I said, these two back ones go 50, and then we got to put the braces here back on the back. I and I believe we go this way. Right. Yeah, no. Okay, so we're putting the brace back up in. There's two bolts on each one. Nuts. They gotta be set for, or two nuts on each one. They gotta be set for 50 foot pounds. And we already did these two back here. This one and this one, we did them both for 50 foot pounds. Okay, so that's it for the lockout kit. Uh, it's a pretty simple job, actually. It wasn't that bad. Okay, guys, I'm just going to do a recap of the lockout kit we did on here. Because it's so hard to film this stuff when you're actually doing it and trying to film at the same time. But we started out, once the car is up on jack stands, we uh, put a jack under the diff to hold it so it doesn't move. And then we come up here remove this bolt and these two bolts here and then this little screw here has got to be removed so you can release this uh, little panel and uh, you do that on both sides and then when you're done you use the jack to lower the front of the diff so you can put the the spacer up here and then there's a spacer in the bottom and then you just Put the bolts back on just tighten them up uh just hand tight and then you can you may have to move the jack back to this brace here and hold that up 
And then you come in here and you move these two bolts here and that'll take that brace off. And then there's another bolt here you pull out and then you allow it to allow this here cradle to drop down. And then there's a spacer that goes in the top. And then in the bottom, you see we got four of them little, uh, I don't know, they're little round aluminum pieces. And then this piece goes on the bottom. And then, then you just put the bolts back in and it'll crank it, you crank it up. Or you can use a jack to put it up and then crank them on. And then in the video, you've seen the torque specs. Anyway, guys, I hope, hopefully this video will help some of you guys out. It's actually, it wasn't that bad of a job. And, uh, didn't take that long to do. And in a future video, we'll see if it stiffens up the rear end, if he's able to get traction or not. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.